Hey guys, so today I'm going to tell you all about heating your hedgehog. I'll go over proper temperatures, heating options, the best brands, everything you need to know. In my opinion, heating is one of the most important parts of owning a hedgehog. So to start off, the most basic heat source is the CHE, also known as a ceramic heat emitter. This is by far the most commonly used heat source for a hedgehog. It's simple, efficient, and relatively cheap. The most important part about a CHE is that it is a heat emitter, not a heat lamp. It does not emit light. Hedgehogs are nocturnal, so you're never going to want a heat source over their cage overnight. A heat lamp should definitely be on overnight. So this is the CHE that Dean currently uses. They come in both black and white. I've only ever used white. This is the BYB Light 100 watt. The wattage you'll want to use will depend on your room temperature, the size of your hedgehog's cage, and the distance from the floor of your cage to your light. Typically, you'll want either 60, 100, or 100 wattage. In general, I recommend about 100 watts. However, if your cage is bigger, around 100 gallons, you might want a 150 watt instead. As for brands, I've used BYB Light and Zoomed. Both of these have lasted me quite a long time with no issues. I'd recommend either of these brands or Flukers. So obviously you're going to need a dome to house your CHE. This is, I believe, the Zilla 8.5 inch reflector dome, but I'm not completely sure. You're just going to want a dome that will fit your particular CHE and has a plugged plug into the wall. This lamp has a switch to turn it on and off, however that is unnecessary when you're using a CHE because you'll need a thermostat instead. To install your CHE into your lamp, it's really simple. You just simply put it in and twist like installing any other light bulb. If you go with the CHE, you'll need a thermostat. These are super easy to operate and relatively cheap. This is the AM Reptiles thermostat. I don't think this exists anymore, but it is the exact same as the Zilla thermostat. So if you want this one, get the Zilla instead. To operate your thermostat is super easy. Just take your dome with your CHE in it and plug it into the plug part of your thermostat. Depending on your brand, you might have one plug or two plugs. After that, simply take your thermostat and plug the wire directly into the wall. Then place your heat lamp on your hedgehog's cage, wherever you want, and your thermostat should turn on. With this brand in particular, when it glows just green right here, that means that your cage has reached your desired temperature. If it's glowing red there as well, that means that your cage has not reached your desired temperature. You're going to want to set it at whatever temperature you want. I typically keep Dean's at around 76, 77. Your thermostat can sometimes get a little higher than what it says, so it's important to take account of that when you're setting it up. Your thermostat will also come with a probe. You're going to want to put this in your hedgehog's cage. Make sure that it is not too close to the bottom. Depending on your hedgehog, they might actually try to chew on it. And make sure that you don't have it directly under your heat source. So next up is another option for a heat source. This is a space heater. This is Dean's Pelinus space heater. Where I live, it can get very cold in the winter and a CHE can struggle to keep up, so I use this to pick up the slack. I typically turn it on for a few hours a day to keep the heat in Dean's room up. This method of heating would be most efficient if you have multiple hedgehogs or animals with similar heating needs in one room. There is a third option, which would be to heat your whole house. I don't think it makes sense, it would be expensive, inefficient, and difficult to maintain, so I'm not going to go into detail with that one, just cross that option off of your list. No matter what heat source you use, you're going to need a thermometer. This is the Zoomed thermometer. It's a digital thermometer that registers to the tenth of degree. I find it super accurate and easy to read. Some other options include the Exoterra and Vivarium Electronics. To use the thermometer is really super easy. You're just going to want to insert the probe into the cage just like your thermostat and put the thermometer somewhere you can read it. My thermometer typically does that, so I actually like to tie it to the side of the cage. So I guess the most important question is what temperature should this all be set at? Hedgehogs thrive in temperatures of the mid-70s. Specifically, 75 to 77 is ideal. 
Anything below 68 or above 82 would be very worrying. You don't want it to get to that point. Dean's cage typically stays between 74 and 78 degrees. Generally, you don't want your temperature to fluctuate more than 5 degrees. Sometimes it happens though, and it's not that big of a deal, as long as they stay in the safe range. So that's it for today's video. Thank you guys so much for watching. Goodbye.